Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So in this recording, we will do the left out from this element locator. So as I said, these three supposed to be covered. So let's cover them. This let's see the unique first unique method. If you see the unique description here, returns all elements with unique values or whose expression is unique. Let's see how they are unique. Through example, we will understand. So this is anyway again the same here that we need uh, here this array gen. First we have to generate the array. And then here if you see this array, it is taken already. This array generation is done because it's a bit complex array that we want to generate and see how things will happen. So this generation already discussed here, how we are generating with the help of this randomize, we are generating a complex array. So this complex array, if you see this TR, TR is of this class. In this class, we have this address, data, and colors. If you see these two uh, address and uh, address and data, they are of bit type. Whereas colors, if you see, this is uh, enumerated data type. So uh, composite data uh, uh, kind of thing, here it is there. So them we are using here, okay? So it is complex, that way it is complex. So now what we are going to do here is, since we already discussed in video one and video two also about this generation, Let's go to the unique straight away. In this unique, what we are doing here is this array dot unique. So just dot unique. So if you see this dot unique, it's a method, it's a function. And if you see this array, array is a, uh, here it is declared here, if you see. This is that array, which is having eight loca locations, all right? And uh, here, uh, let's go to the unique. That is from that array, what is unique that we are taking out and we are printing out that one. And here, uh, again, item is, address is considered. Among this address, what is unique that we are taking and going to address this uh, assigned to this tr underscore q. tr underscore is a q. So several uh, such, uh, you know, unique may happen. This is one kind of expression. So then we are keeping here in the unbounded q. So, and then this is for printing out. All right. So let's see that one. Here I have taken out... Uh, if you see this one here, uh, array has got uh, this uh, in the declaration, it has got this five, six, nine, two, three, four, six, ten. Six, if you see, it is repeated here. So, what is unique here is only one first occurrence of six is unique, and every element here, like five is unique, six is unique, nine is unique, two is unique, three is unique. 4 is unique, but this 6 is not unique because it already occurred here. So 10 is unique. So the what is printed, excluding the 6, remaining all are unique. That is what the uh, print uh, will be. So in this case of uh, uh, example, the generated array uh, is this. Now what is unique here data, uh, like if you see here, it is set item address. We have to consider its expression. And in the address, what is unique, that is considered. So what is that address? Uh, if you see address, there is address here. This is unique. Two is unique. Four is unique. But this two again repeated. <laughs> this address already had come. So it is not unique. Five is unique. So what is expected in the print is here, excluding the six remaining all will be printed out. Here excluding this one remaining all will be printed. Three red and one yellow. Let us see his output. Three re red and one yellow. 
and here excluding that 6, 5, 6, 9, 2, 3, 4. After that, here 6 is there. That 6 is not printed. So that's how the unique method is working. Now, uh, let's go to this min and max methods. With that, we will uh, conclude this locator methods. So here in the min max, uh, let's go to the definition first, description. Min means returns the element with the minimum value or whose expression evaluates to a minimum. So let's see uh, the example. This is min. In that, what is considered? That array is considered. Among that array, what is min? What which array? This array, this A R R. In that, what is minimum? Two is minimum. So two will be printed out. What is maximum here? Ten is maximum. So that ten will be printed out here. And uh, coming to this item address, what is uh, address? Address. If you see which one is the minimum address with the minimum address, this first one is with minimum address. So we are expecting that to be printed here. What is the maximum address here? Four five. Five is the maximum address. This one we are expecting on the printout. Let us see. This is minimum two as expected, maximum is 10 as expected. Address, if you consider the minimum is this red as expected. And uh, maximum here is this five. So this is also we expected. So that is how these methods are working. So let's go to the simulation now. So to do the simulation, as I said, what is required that we are copying so here the required things, if you see uh, unique is required. So let's copy this unique, go to this one. So here, um, I, I will be creating one file with the unique, unique.sv and I will say this one here. And then I will copy this min max. Go to this uh, EDA playground, create a file min underscore max dot SV file and paste it here. Save it. So now we just want to. Uh, Simulate and see unique and min max one after another. So what is that we have to do here? We have to include uh, instead this uh, find underscore last. We're supposed to be including here uh, unique first. Unique dot sv and uh, gen this array gen is anywhere required. We have to generate the that uh, array generation is required array function. And then we have to comment out this one, which is not required. And then which is required, this unique, that we have to uncomment. That's all. And then you, without saving also, you can run. So if you run, let's see. So here, if you see, this is as expected, two, three, four, five. Uh, here I'll take out this one. Here, if you see here, it has arranged in the order here: two, three, four, and then five, then six. One six is excluded, then nine, ten. So that's how. Now unique in address, right? Unique in address. Uh, one, two will not be printed. Rest all will be printed. So. First one is printed, and uh, here is some issue here. Let me see what is the mistake. This is the data. Okay, okay, okay. We are comparing with this generation. Uh, we don't know how it has generated. So the compiler to compiler generation will differ. That is the 
important observation here it is good learning see this is on the website their tool whatever the tool they have used for them the tool has generated this one but for us you can see here this tool has generated this array among this array what is unique that we have to consider not this one but this array why, why we have considered this is fixed here this is not randomly generated this is fixed making sense here where it is uh, sure here if you see this one is fixed here we are we we fixed it but when we come to the generation of this array it is generated uh, randomly here randomized if you see here it is randomized here so how we have uh, we are randomizing it with the help of this class all right so now let us see that one what is unique here if you see the address one is unique anyway this got printed six is also unique that is also got printed and this six if you see here starting from here if it is coming last one is considered for printing and then seven is unique that has been printed is that making sense i repeat this one again this is the generated array in this simulator here tool is starting from here coming you know it is actually observing all of these addresses one is one one has come only once and this is the unique so that's why it printed that first one six it observed again everything every address uh, you know elements uh, uh, all elements here related to the address that's the reason why it could able to reach to the last element as well and and see that this is the unique because this six anyway occurred this is the last one last occurrence it is considering so that's why this got printed instead this one if you see here yellow is there with this address associated so last one it is treating next unique is this seven making sense uh, this one is about the unique method now coming to the max min max here uh, let us i think we have discussed i don't remember whether we discussed uh, yes we have discussed this one let us go to the simulation itself uh, here uh, one minute just a minute uh, yeah uh, here uh, let's let's do this min max so to do min max uh, here you just go and remove this one put min underscore max and uh, here you comment out this section and take this one and comment this one now run now if you run uh see this is uh 210 is from this array which is fixed array 2 is the minimum 10 is the maximum so that's why here we see the for minimum 2 and maximum element is 10 whereas uh, this is related to the address if you see this one here the minimum is related related to the address element so what is minimum with address element what is maximum with address element that we have to see so here address element if you consider here the minimum is this one address and the maximum is this seven so then we will see here on the console this is for minimum that is min element with respect to the address is this max element with respect to the address is this all right so that way we have covered completed all of these uh, methods related to the element locator element locator has got all of all these methods all of them we have covered with examples so kindly uh, 
drop your uh, doubts in comment section in case if you have. So next uh, we will see on index locator methods. Index locator methods also we have similar to that. We have this index locator methods. One, two, three, four methods are there. We will see them in next recording, index locator methods. All right, thank you.